Most whales are lousy. Not that they're good for nothing, but like they're infested with lice. Well, they kind of look like lice, and they are called whale lice. And I'll be honest, they're fucking gross, and they make me feel uneasy and itchy, and the pictures get even more disconcerting. But with that being said, landlubber lice are insects, and whale lice are crustaceans. They're related to skeleton shrimps. Also, like their name implies, they're comparatively huge. Some species of whale lice can be up to an inch long, though they can be as little as a fifth of an inch. At least three pairs of their legs come with absolutely horrendous looking hooks for hands. They have flattened bodies and live attached to whales their entire life. They mostly stick to spots on the whale's body where they can be protected from currents. So like their eyes, lips, blowholes, wounds, and genital slits. Or near their fellow crustacean parasitic neighbors, the barnacles. Where they cause rough patches of skin to develop on the whale called callosities and then they live on those. There can be around 7,500 of them on a single whale. Sometimes whale researchers look at specific patterns of whale lice and callosities to identify individual whales. The little bastards are highly specialized and almost every single species of whale has a species of whale lice that's unique to them. Though some species of whale lice can be found on up to four species of whales or other cetaceans like porpoises and dolphins. And sperm whales have two species of lice, one that lives on females and calves and one that lives on males. They mostly eat the flaking skin of their host and algae that settles on the whale's body.